Hello and welcome to Campus B. My name is Andy and I'll be your host, whether you like it or you like it more. Here on Campus B, we discuss all things campus related, from student life to classroom experiences, stories, updates, opinions, ah, marami pang iba. No matter where you are in the world, chances are you have had a teacher, someone that helped you grasp a challenging concept or experience a learning moment that defined your classroom experience. Every year on October 5, we celebrate World Teachers Day. It's time to remember those special educators who supported and invested in us, and in some cases, changed our lives. In today's episode, we invited three of LPU Cavite's most notable teachers who have went above and beyond for their students and continue to strive for lifelong learning opportunities. But before we introduce our guest teachers, here is a rundown of the latest news and events you might have missed. In today's news, we have another victory. Nine alumni from the College of Business Administration are newly certified tax technicians. Truly in LPU, we learn different, we live different. Indeed, research is life. Students and their faculty advisor from the College of Engineering, Computer Studies and Architecture published their design and development of a semi-automated plastic bottle and plastic waste echo brick maker in the Pop School Excellent Academic Research Link or Pearl Bulletin 2021. Hey there Lyceans, meet our new student leaders who are ready to serve with respect and integrity. The elected students will take the lead and continue to uphold the students' core values and support the university. And finally, LPU Cavite has been an institutional member of the Philippine Association of Communication Educators and we would like to congratulate one of our faculty members, Sir Reginald Gonzalez, for his new election to the Board of Trustees and his election as Secretary. Sir Reg, baka naman! One of the things I love about working in a university is getting to meet amazing teachers. They don't always have everything they need, but they spend their time and energy doing their best to continue to inspire generations of people. These three guest teachers have been awarded the Best Faculty Award during the academic year 2019-2020. Let's now welcome our guests. Marivic De Los Santos from CITHM. Vincent Cortinas from the College of Business Administration. Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Grace A. Berico from the College of Business Administration. All right, and so this is the moment that we have been waiting for. We will be having a graded recitation. And this time, it's our teacher's turn to answer. Number one, for Ma'am Maridik Pumunano. Among the many possible professions, no? bakit po teacher? You cannot, uh, well, uh, might be the question why I am a teacher. Um, you cannot teach if you don't love teaching. You have to invest uh, patience and uh, you should love to share uh, knowledge to your learner and uh, make a difference in their life. And uh, I want to be part of their future. That's, that's, yeah. that's a very nice answer. Sabi nga po nila sa mga contest, may nanalo na po. But anyway, <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Ma'am Maridik here, she was awarded the best faculty award during that year, academic year, 2019-2020. Pero meron pong kasama natin dito, si Sir Vince, si Dr. Ray, sila po yung mga finalists o kasama po. So, I also would like to ask the question to Dr. Ray naman po. Sir. <laughs> so, same thing. Uh, bakit po teaching ang pinili ninyo? Um, I choose to become a teacher because uh, I know that I can make a difference in the lives of my students by, of course, no, being a dedicated teacher 
and teaching my students um, about life skills. Mm. And these uh, life skills can be used by my students to face the challenges of life. Okay, thank you very much. And now, of course, we will be asking the only thorn among the roses. Why did you choose to teach? Actually, sir, um, it is never my intention uh, to be uh, ended up in teaching mm -hmm. because uh, I was 18 when I started teaching in a university. And uh, after almost 10 years of teaching, uh, I came to realize that just like Doc Berico, I want to make a difference in the lives of my students in the end of future generations as well. And also there is nothing better um, uh, than uh, building confidence among your students and believing that they are capable of doing something. Okay, thank you very much. And now we will be asking you the second question. So I suppose that in your experience as a teacher, uh, you have engaged students and you have actually applied different strategies. So my question is, how do you keep students engaged and focused? So, Sir Vince, balik ulit tayo sa'yo. I believe that it is the responsibility of the students uh, to stay focused uh, with their goals in life and of course um, in studying. And um, I think it is just an aftermath of how I encourage them to do their best and be, ber be better versions of themselves. And um, kung strategies po ang pag-uusapan, tingin ko, um, it depends on the charisma that uh, a teacher possess. And I think, um, yun po yung sekreto or strategy na ginagamit ko um, in teaching my students during this pandemic. Yeah, so you try to tell them and make them realize that it's a matter of choice. So if you don't intend to learn, well, it's up to you. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, how about uh, with Dr. Ray? Um, I keep my students positive and focus by creating a psychological environment that is conducive for them. So I establish good relationship with them and I show empathy by understanding their feelings and situation so that I can respond accordingly to their needs. Okay, so mindset, no? That uh, you are there as a teacher and you care for them so as to attract engagement and attention. Okay, si Ma'am Marivic naman po. Okay, for me, uh, being positive and focus must come from me first. Because uh, I am a driver of, uh, uh, of learning, therefore, I supposed to make uh, motivation and uh, uh, their engagement in learning, telling them that learning is a, uh, a beautiful thing that happened to a certain human being like us. And uh, take the advantage to learn and uh, focus with uh, motivate yourself to learn. So for you, Mama Rebik, you try to show them the I example. Am, yes. yes, I you. am the one who is and So that they will also follow you. So it's a matter of sharing. Okay, right. So trying to transcend that uh, positive attitude to yours. To my to share. Okay. All right, so for the final question, okay. What does it mean to be a teacher to you? So, Sir Vince, what's your name? Um, I think it is a way of life and um, teaching really exhausts you to the very core and uh, it is a way of life because um, the only return, return on investment is that um, when your students, former students, go back to you and tell their stories uh, and how you became an instrument of their successes is what makes it fulfilling on our end as teachers. All right, thank you. Doc Grace. Uh, being a teacher means giving everything that I can. So I need to nourish myself. I need to nourish my body, my mind, my soul to continue being a light to others. All right, thank you. And of course, now we serve definitely not the, the least, but the best for our most outstanding faculty, academic year 2019-2020, Mam Marivik. Okay, I don't like to see you, but 
Okay. Uh, it's a call that you are responding and uh, it's a responsibility that uh, God entrusted to you that you are providing learning to these children and your word is powerful because this will lead them and guide them to their life. Whatever you said to them is always sabi ni ma'am. Alright, thank you very much. Very well said. Uh, maraming salamat pong muli sa ating mga outstanding teachers ng LPU Cavite. And I just hope, uh, sir and ma'am, that I will be able to sit down in your classrooms. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Thank you very much. Okay, so guys, uh, here, uh, we're going to pick a question from... Sure. <laughs> okay. The teapot. And then we will start answering the question. Honestly. Okay. okay. Start. Ladies first. Doc Benico. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll read the question. Mm-hmm. Sir Vince, honest, huh? Sure. <laughs> what is the most embarrassing thing that happened to you in front of a class? Oh my God. Bistado tayo dito. Tingin ko may common answer po tayo dito. Okay. Uh, okay. Sige, you do it uh, first. Sige po, ako na. Um, first day of class and um, I'm about to uh, go to the class, of course, uh, but what happened is that I entered a wrong classroom. Um, I've written my name, <laughs> uh, the requirements the of the of the course, no, and no. everything, and the grading, ano, components and assessment. <laughs> and after after that, um, one of the students stand up and ask me a question. Sir, is this subject this subject? Because our teacher is supposed to be doctor. But <laughs> sobrang hiyang-hiya po ako ng mga panahon na yun kasi <laughs> <Grabe> hiya talaga. <laughs> hindi ko yung kasi pero halos oh, nakapag-discuss yes. na ako. Tapos din po, hindi niyo ba na-experience yun? Well, uh, sabi mo nga, it's a similar, uh, uh, we have the same experience but I think, may gagrabe pa ba? Okay, so my dean called me and I said, excuse me, Taz. And then, uh, after a while, I left the room, and when I come back, I teach, and uh, looking at my presentation and everything, and all the while, the teacher inside the class is looking at me. <laughs> Ma'am, ako po yung teacher. <laughs> yung anong bilis kong dumating, siyang bilis kong umalis, at hing hingal na hingal ako doon sa faculty, at sabi ko, Diyos ko po, ano yung nagawa ko? It's very amba... Nakatala sa karanasan ng kasaysayan ng pagtuturo. Okay, buti hindi po nagalit si teacher. <laughs> hindi naman, ang bait nga niya. No, nakasumalangit daw ang kaluluwa. <laughs> oh <my God>. Sir! <laughs> How about you, Dr. Dr. Berico? Actually, we had the same experience. Eh. Ganun din. Yung pala Pag yung teacher. Pag naliligaw sa classroom. Naandun pa po. Tapos, I, I started already the introduction. Nagulat ako. May nakatayo sa gilid. Okay. Yung pala, nag-overtime si ma'am. Ah, but, uh, okay. Yes. So, ma'am, parang sinabi mo, ako naman. <laughs> okay. But of course, okay. no, nag-apologize. Oh. So, okay. okay, next. Next. Ako na po ang bubunot ulit uh -uh. para sa inyo. Uh, ayaw mong pabunot, ha? Next. Ito. Controversial to. Do you oh. have any favorites? <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, any favorites? Siguro mang favorite ko yung pinaka-lazy. <laughs> Aha, good. <laughs> okay. Kasi favorite ko siyang tawagin in the graded recitation. <laughs> Para ano, medyo Para magbago. <laughs> yes. So, okay. Ah, sir. Ako naman po, um, halos wala talaga yung favorites kasi lahat ng sigyante yung favorite ko. Wow. Pero mas, natulad nung kay Doc Berry ko, siguro ang favorite ko yung mga na-late. 
Oh. Kasi hindi po ako nalilate sa klase. Mm-hmm. Uh, yung ating house office, never nila ako nilalagyan lagi ng mga mm-hmm. late na yan. Kaya ang ginagawa ko sa nalilate, ginagawa ko silang artist. Kung gusto nilang magpatuloy sa klase mm-hmm. o lumabas, mm-hmm. may gagawin silang act. <laughs> So that is a sign of favoritism. Yes, favorite ko sila kasi magiging artista sila on that very moment. Uh-huh. At kapag nagawa nila, makakaupo na sila. Yes, oh po. Okay. Pwede sa kumanta, sumayaw. Mm-hmm. Oh, late sila eh. Ako, I have favorites. Pero nagtatago sila sa akin. Bakit? They are the officers of the class. Uh, when I said, okay, Uh, there are, there is an assignment uh, and an instruction kami nagtatago nawawala and they are my favorite right because uh, these officers uh, provide me with so many assistance no they uh, they're really responsible but uh, well uh, telling you ma'am sir uh, i give them credits na Yes. Yung nagigiseryoso na po tayo, no? Pupunta na po tayo to the last, I think, last question. <laughs> May last okay. talaga. Ito na po. What makes a good day at school? Ay! <laughs> okay. Ah, Ako na ba? Ako na lang po. Oh, sige, sige, uh, sige. Save the best for last. Uh, what makes a good day at school? Siguro yung, ano, kompleto yung, ano, uh, estudyante natin. Mm-hmm. And, kompleto yung gamit na dala ko. Kasi once na makakalimot ako ng uh, pentel pen or eraser, pupunta Marker. pa ako sa faculty room, medyo malayo. Pero mm-hmm. <laughs> baka ma-mark absent ako pag wala ako doon sa mismo checking ng check. So, Uh-oh. what makes a good day kapag kompleto lahat at handang-handa? Usually, mm-hmm. ay uh, natutulog ako ng hating gabi para i-prepare yung lesson ko. Para pagdating sa klase, Riding mas ready at ready. ready. Pag teacher mm-hmm. ka, hindi ka pwedeng hindi handa. Mm-hmm. Ayun po! Well, uh, what makes a good day at school? Uh, well, from the start of good morning, by the term good morning, uh, I anticipated good. If all my students, especially my tourism, and, uh, are well, uh, well groomed, all are in uniform, no? yung walang dugyot-dugyot, that makes my day... Mm-mm. Okay, so uh, that inspires me to teach, no? So, and I would say, oh, this is a very nice morning. And at the end of my class, I enjoy having with you to, uh, for this hour or for this period. So, binabalik ko rin naman sa kanila yung enjoyment ko. So, ganun lang. Meron pa ba? I, I will answer. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sige, yun lang siguro pag, of course, no, makita ko yung mga estudyante ko na naandun yung level ng energy nila, nandun yung mm-hmm. enthusiasm no, yes, to, to learn, of course. No. So, mm-hmm. with that, no, of course, no, nagiging lalo akong mas excited no, mm-hmm. na magturo. Okay. And that's it. And, And that's, that's Feel the Tea with, with your, your teachers. teachers. And now, for this episode's TikTok challenge by Jerome Austria Patam. Good morning, Lyceum. So before we start to our discussion, Charis, lead the LPU prayer. Okay, class, before we proceed to our topic, let me check the attendance first. Okay, class, after I check your attendance, let's proceed to our announcement. Class representative, TikTok challenge World Teachers Month. I challenge you to do an impersonation of your favorite teacher. Keep it fun, keep it decent, and keep it fair. Upload your video on your TikTok account and use the hashtag, hashtag MyTeacherMyHero. Hashtag LPUCavite Campus B. We have cash prizes for our top video placers. So guys, what are you waiting for? Join now! If you guys have any question regarding to our topic, don't hesitate to chat me. I can reply no man anytime. To end the show, here's a short video dedicated to all the teachers out there. And this has been Campus Beat. <laughs>